This discussion is on Doppler echocardiography in aortic stenosis. Doppler echocardiography in aortic stenosis is usually done from the apical 5 chamber view. It can be done from suprasternal view as well. In the past, when dedicated continuous wave Doppler pencil probes were used, the window of choice was suprasternal. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Measurements shown here are AV Vmax, peak aortic velocity. AV V mean, mean aortic velocity. AV Max PG, peak aortic gradient. AV mean PG, mean aortic gradient. AV VTI, aortic velocity time integral. AV NTI, aortic velocity envelope time. HR, heart rate. Grading of aortic stenosis according to peak velocity is as follows. Peak aortic velocities less than 2.5 meter per second are considered to be due to aortic sclerosis without significant stenosis. Mild AS has a peak velocity between 2.5 to 3 meter per second. Velocity above 4 meter per second is seen in severe aortic stenosis and those between 3 to 4 meter per second in moderate aortic stenosis. Classification of aortic stenosis by mean gradient is as follows. Mean gradient less than 20 mm of mercury is graded as mild, 20 to 40 mm of mercury as moderate, and above 40 mm of mercury as severe aortic stenosis. In the image, peak velocity is 3.03 m per second and mean gradient 18.8 mm of mercury. By mean gradient, it is mild aortic stenosis and by peak velocity it is moderate aortic stenosis. We might as well report it as mild to moderate aortic stenosis. Image also shows an aortic regurgitation jet which is above the baseline, but the measurements of the AR jet are not shown here. Aortic velocity time integral is automatically displayed by the software when the aortic velocity Doppler tracing is manually traced during measurement of peak and mean gradients. Velocity time integral is useful in calculating the aortic valve area by continuity equation. Aortic valve area by continuity equation is calculated as follows. Aortic valve area equal to pi into square of LVOT radius into LVOT VTI divided by aortic VTI. Continuity equation is based on the law of conservation of mass. What comes in must go out. Initial part of the formula calculates the area of the left ventricular outflow tract from the measured diameter of the left ventricular outflow tract. It is multiplied by LVOT VTI to give volume flow. Volume flow is divided by aortic VTI to get aortic valve area. Aortic valve area can be indexed by dividing with calculated body surface area. Body surface area can be calculated if height and weight are available. Normal aortic valve area is 3 to 4 square centimeters. If it is reduced but above 1.5 square centimeter, it is graded as mild aortic stenosis. 1 to 1.5 square centimeter is graded as moderate and less than 1 square centimeter as severe aortic stenosis. According to body surface area, aortic valve area index of more than 0.85 will be mild aortic stenosis and index below 0.6 severe aortic stenosis. Moderate aortic stenosis has an aortic valve area index between 0.6 to 0.85. Here is an important reference on the topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.